I don't know how long it's gonna stay like that. That's how long. Have you heard the expression that uh, plastic gears are made as a cheap point of failure? I never really understood what that means. A lot of people ask themselves the question, why would you even bother to make a cheap plastic gear when you can make it out of metal? What's the point? Actually, it's a very interesting fact behind it. A lot of these engineers are designing into their motors a weak point, something that it will fail without catastrophically destroying the entire electric motor. In this case, they have a plastic gear that is specifically designed so they don't wear out the uh, gear that is on top of the motor. That particular gear is a lot harder to be replaced because it's pressed in. So the gear goes out, the motor goes out, you have to replace a very expensive motor. When you put the plastic gear into the Taishong mid-drive motor, what happens is that you're building a point of failure that is very very easy and cheap to replace. Now I know people don't like the term point of failure. I never really understood plastic gears in hub motors and this kind of mid-drive motors but it makes complete sense because what happens is that you have a plastic gear that it's gonna wear out but it will protect the motor so you could take the motor apart and replace a very very cheap part without wearing the, the, the motor gear that is a lot harder to put in. So next time you see plastic gears into a motor or plastic parts that are specifically designed that make absolutely no sense. It feels like it's the first thing is gonna break. Sometimes they're actually engineered that way. That's why plastic gears exist in motors because they are specifically designed parts to fail to protect the internal parts of the motor and they're easily replaced without causing any repercussions except a very disappointing day in the woods. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think at the bottom. Vegas Romaniac out.